Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this video, I will be discussing the latest TCS digital interview experience. This interview happened on 8th July 2024 and it is of a non-CSIT batch student. So many of you were asking me that, sir, should we prepare our core subjects also if we are from non-CSIT, that is if you are from ECE, if you are from EEE, so any other uh, non-CSIT field also. So make sure that you are watching this interview till the end. It will be a short interview only. Okay. But like there are questions which are asked from core subject of ECE and EEE also. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And guys, if you have not hit that like and subscribe button for this channel as of now, please do that because from past one month, I'm continuously making videos regarding PCS and QT. And I will be in future also keep on posting videos because now results will be announced like uh, uh, results will be announced then there will be a lot of documentation also and a lot of ipa cpa will also happen so all these type of videos i will be posting on this channel so make sure that you are present on this channel and hitting that subscribe button okay so now let's start this video and before starting the video as you all know click click the like button as well as the share button for this channel okay so guys the first question was self-intro as you all know but you have to mention you have to mention your education background your skills your internships, your projects, your extracurricular activities, your achievements, any research paper you have published, anything like that, you can mention in the self introduction. Okay, the answer should be from one to one and a half minute and it will be good. Next is questions about what are the types of power generation as I am from Tripoli. So explain about hydropower plant. So this was third one. Okay, so the question was about what are the types of power generation. Uh, okay, so why this question was asked? Because the candidate was from the Tripoli branch, not the CSIT branch. So, see, in majority of the interviews, it does not matter that from which branch you are, they will be asking you the IT related questions only. But this is one of the type interview, therefore I am making video that, okay, if you are a non-CSIT student, then the questions can be asked from the, your core subjects also. It all, all, th all the things depend on the interview that what knowledge he has. Okay, so I hope this question is clear to you. Next question was explain about hydropower plant. So again, it is your domain based question only your core subject based question only. So I think like basics of your course that's also you should know. Uh, I hope uh, I hope these questions are clear to you. Next is um, so yeah, so these two are the questions which are asked from the core subjects. But again, as I have told you, this is the IT company. So in the end or in the uh, like later or sooner, they will come to the IT subjects only. Okay, so next question was <clears throat> What are the <coughs> cloud deployment models and which will be the best for our company? So why was this question asked? Because the candidate has mentioned the Azure certification in the resume. Okay. So the question was, what are the cloud deployment models and which will be the best for our company? So in Azure, there are different, different cloud de deployment models. There is private cloud, hybrid cloud, and there is a, a public cloud also. So uh, by considering all the factors, you will have to tell that okay which or which will be the best for the Infosys oh sorry TCS need because TCS you are doing TCS interview okay so I hope this question is clear to you next question is what are the services provided by Azure so again it was asked because of the certification in Azure so one thing to note here is that do not lie in your resume because if interview catches it that okay the, he starts asking from a point that you have mentioned in your resume and then you are not able to answer that then it is a very bad impression on the interviewer so do not lie in the interview if you know less write less no issues okay but just everything that you have mentioned in your resume regarding project regarding your skills regarding uh, any certification you should not lie in that resume and you should be preparing for it okay so before moving ahead i would like you to tell that okay so on our top mid page first of all we are taking the mock interviews for every profile whether it is ninja digital or prime so if you're not confident about your actual interview you can come to us and book your mock interview and next thing is that we have uh, there is there is also TCS important interview subject notes that are present on our channel. So in this particular in these particular notes there are total 13 PDFs. The every PDF consists of uh, the actual interview questions of that subject which are asked in TCS Ninja Digital or Prime Code. So if you will read these so these PDFs are specifically designed for the preparation of TCS Ninja Digital and Prime Role to make these PDFs actual interview questions are considered. Okay, so. If you will open the C++ PDF, then you will find the uh, questions which are commonly getting asked in TCS interview. If you will open the uh, SQL or if you will open the cloud computing PDF, then you will find that, okay, these are the important questions for cloud computing and these are like getting asked in TCS. So this is at a very nominal price of rupees 99. So it will ha have two benefits. It will help you to prepare, revise your concepts. And if you have like interview next two or three days only, so it will be 
these PDFs will be helpful to you, to you at uh, like for preparation of the last minute also. Okay, for last minute preparation also and for revising the concepts. It is at a very nominal price of Rs. 99. The, the links of the buying and if you want to book mock interview also, all the links are in the description box. So do check them out. So now continuing in the interview. So these were uh, so next was one coding question which was asked that code for the bubble sort and explain. So you I have told you in earlier videos also as well as I am mentioning in the notes also that bubble sort code is very important. So you must know the algorithm of bubble sort. You must know the time complexity of bubble sort and you must be able to explain to to the interviewer. Okay. So I hope this question is clear to you. So these are all the technical questions which are asked. So this interview was yes, it was very short. It was around 15 to 20 minutes of digital interview. But the main point was uh, two points was to note here that uh, your core subject questions can also be asked. Okay. And these sorting algorithms are very commonly asked and do not lie anything in your resume. So these three these things are take away from this interview okay now moving towards the hr one so hr one also so in hr the questions were asked like are you okay with the relocation always say yes check the documents okay they were checking for the criteria why you want to join tcs why should we hire you will you study abroad if tcs gives support so all these things all these questions are getting asked okay so a lot of interview experience videos i have already posted on my youtube channel from past one month i'm continuously posting videos regarding interview experiences regarding TCS information so again in future also many such videos will be posted so if you found this video informative you can hit that like button and do hit that subscribe button because more such videos will be posted in future and if you want to book mock interviews or uh, want to buy the important interview subject notes then all the links you can find in the description box so thank you for watching this video